You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on AtheistRepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for Atheist voices all around the globe. I live in Alabama, and everyone around me believes in something that is not true. And after 50 years old, people know it, but they still keep up the facade. And after 70, they start praying for it. And it makes me crazy. Greetings, my atheist brothers and sisters around the world. And I send my greetings from my room in Kenya, in Africa, where we are few, but we are strong. Those who need lives guided by superstition are strong here, and they fight us and pin us down, but we will never surrender. We are in the age of reason. And we have a responsibility to ourselves and to our brothers and sisters around the world to stand up against unreason and cruelty and sadism that is perpetuated by the religious all over the world and in all of history. Let's stand together. Hello, Atheist Community or Atheist Republic. Hope all are feeling great and having an amazing time. This is Khaled Haider speaking from Pakistan. So first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Khaled Haider. I am basically from Afghanistan, but for the past eight or nine years, I have been living here in Pakistan as a migrator. And I am belonging from a very, a very strict religious family. My father, is an Islamic scholar. My brother is also a Talib Alam studying in Madrasa. He's about to finish. And uh, I am in, I'm a college student studying in first year, right, in Pakistan with my family. I started reading my Islam when I faced a lot of non Muslims like Christians, Jews, and uh, Hindus. I started debating with them and proving proving very strictly, very wholeheartedly that Islam is the right religion. I was debating with them and proving my points to be clear. But later on I decided to study my own religion because I knew that I, I don't understand it. Because I, I, I finished reading Quran like more than 10 times. But I don't know the meaning, the exact meaning. So I started reading Quran with translation. When I read the whole Quran with translation, I found a lot of contradictions, a lot of violations, a lot of barbaric actions, barbaric revelations. I found a lot of dishonest and immorality in Quran, right? After that, I, I collected all those points with, with me in my copy. I, I do have I, them with me right now. After that, certain questions arise in my in my mind. I started studying philosophy when I was. I remember when I was in, in, in ninth standard. I bought some books of philosophy, like a book by Stephen Hawking, brief, uh, big brief answers to the big question, something like that, and another book by Will Durant, which is the pleasure of philosophy. And I started reading them. When I was buying those books, many people were suggesting me not to buy those philosophical books because they will affect my aqidah, they will affect my belief. And it will affect me, it will, it will take me far from Islam. Then I put a question right there in my mind. Why these people are not allowing me to study philosophy? If Islam is absolutely the right religion, then why would I get somewhere else? Huh? Why would I get somewhere else from, from the truth? I started reading uh, philosophy and, and a lot of questions arise in my mind. 
like first question is about the free will the coexistence of free will in determinism in determinism in islam right like in islam we, we believe that muslims believe that if a baby is in his or her embryonic stages god determines for him or her his whole life what he or she's going to do right so my question arises in my mind so what is the fault of non believers here for example if i am a non believer and i am in my embryonic stages in, in my uh, abdomen of uh, of my of my mother then god is someone is coming here and writing that i am going to hell i am going to burn in the hell forever what is my fault here where is my free will everything that is happening in my life is is because god wants that god knows what i'm going to do god determines that so where is my fault why would god someone peaceful and and kind god wants someone to to burn in hell how is that justice after that i, I observe a lot of evil in, in my communities a lot of ch- children small children being raped small children being killed barbarically small children uh, with their head cut off out of the neck a lot of barbaric actions a lot of injustice then if god is real justice if god really is kind for and rahim karim before everything then why he is allowing these barbaric actions so these were the questions right that arise in my mind after that i found i i started studying the, the history of makkah the history of makkah and i found it really astounding I was really stunned when I Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to atheistrepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app, and please leave us a review.